Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 49. This episode is going to be a little bit different. We have uh, finished harvesting this or cutting the grass on our big grass field. Also we harvested the soya beans from the bottom big field. And this episode is all about how quickly we can get the grass picked up and the straw picked up and put into the silos. I found a new, well it's not, it's an old mod, but uh, I found a mod that can do it quite quickly and I thought, well, this warrants a episode on its own. It's a little bit unrealistic to be honest, but uh, hey, I thought it might be fun just to kick back and watch how we do it. Well, I'm just finishing off windrowing the grass field. And as it turns out, it, I didn't really need to windrow it, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Got this really, really lovely windrow, except when it lifts up and you've got these big swaths of grass, it just oh, becomes a little bit untidy. So. You, Particularly if you if you're using um, course play, you need to start off uh, down the middle when you're making your swaths, and then do the headlands later. Kind of what I'm doing now. I don't think I actually did it the right way around, but uh, it ended up me having to do the headland again. So. Lessons learnt, as they say. I've just got this just about done. Yeah, at this point in time, I'm thinking to myself, this is a lot of work to pick up all this grass, and I've got to do the straw. So I thought I'd go and look around and see what else I could find. Something that could, uh, I was looking for something with bigger capacity, really. And I'll show you in a minute what I found. Let's get this finished. I'll just fold it up. And we'll go and put it away. Right, so this is... I was, I was looking at all sorts of capacities and then I saw this forage pickup trailer. Lizard forage pickup trailer. Now, a while ago, I had looked at this for picking up stones, and I thought oh, this is. And I, I tried it, I tested it out, and it was picking up the stones properly, and I just completely, completely discarded it. And a little while ago, there was a update to the, to the mod. And I didn't think much about it. And then just looking around, I thought, well, I'm just going to give this a try and see what it's about. And it looked like, oh, 43,000. And then I realized that you could adjust the volumes to unrealistic le levels. And that's really what makes picking up grass and straw swaths take so long, is that um, the volume is so big that you are running back and forward to the to the silos quite a bit. And that's generally why I bale um, grass and straw and silage and that type of stuff because of the back and forth with um, 
with the forage forage harvesters so I've put this up to a capacity of 500,000 500 metric at least uh, meters cubed so it'll take uh, 500,000 liters and yeah that makes a big difference so let's see how it does I'll get it going I didn't really think about it but as we'll see quite soon this acts as a windrow as well and with a reasonable width right let's get this thing opened fantastic look at that so we actually didn't have to do any windrowing Start it up. There we go. Right, so I'm not even going to do this at, uh, in a time lapse just so that you can get the idea of the speed. It's about 20 minutes, just about less than 20 minutes to do the whole. Both, uh, both fields in normal game time it'll just give you a feel of how quickly this can be done in real time at least without this mod it would have taken a hang of a lot longer sit back and enjoy it
back with me and we just about finished picking up the two fields I think we are finished it's about 400,000 litres in there of straw I picked up that whole field that whole grass field actually uh, 500,000 litres wasn't enough to pick up the whole grass field uh, I picked up most of it but there was a little bit extra that we had to pick up so not too much of a problem there yeah so nice and quick so what is that around about 20 odd minutes to do both of those fields 10 minutes a field cannot complain of that this is definitely staying in the in the shed I've actually solved the other forage harvest already <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Just get round to the to the silo and we all float it. It's also got this lovely little animation that when it offloads the wondering or the pickups sort of just flex out. To allow the um, the actual collection part or the, the actual collection container, whatever one wants to call it, trailer to tip up. I'm liking it. Very, very nice. Worked very well. Quite happy. In fact, this is going to make a bit of a mod review it'll come up in the next couple of days 
if I haven't done it already, I think I may I think I may have done it already. We'll see. Depends on when this this comes out. Well, that's where we're gonna end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll get back to normality on the next one. I'll catch you in the next one. If you, by the way, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And cheerio!